Hungry ladies. For your evening meal. Yeah? Is everybody here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Everybody's here. Okay. Whoops. They run so fast, they run past the troughs. Now they have to run back up again. Everybody looking good. They're all set up for tomorrow's wet, windy day. Lots of hay, shelter, away from big old trees in case they blow down. She's looking fantastic, this yo lamb. I think this is the one, one of the ones that I'm keeping, I think. Yeah. She's one of the ones I'm keeping. Nice pair of hind legs, standing square. No pastern drop. This is the pastern right here. And you don't want it to drop, which means that this part right here goes down towards the ground. So she's got really strong pasterns, nice pasterns on her. So when this part is dropping towards the ground, that's a weak pastern. You can see there, I have yeos with strong pasterns and the lambs have strong pasterns. And you like them to have good, strong back legs straight like that so that the hawks that's a hawk and that's a hawk don't turn inwards and they don't turn outwards so they're not bow-legged in a funny way so she's actually a really really and her tail is that's at the halfway point or less of the tail so it's only supposed to be half or less white and then she's got two completely round socks. They go all the way around both those, and she actually has four. So the breed standard, you're allowed to have four white socks, but the important ones are the two back socks, are very important for the breed standard. And then let's see if we can see her blaze on the front of her. She's not allowed to have wool, white wool. Hello, paint drip. She's not allowed to have white wool on her neck. But if you look at her, she's got a very nice full blaze from the pole. The pole of a sheep is the top of the head between the ears. So that right there, this is the pole where horns come out of. And she, she, she has a white, comes right up to the pole of this yo lamb and let's see if I can get you can see her face whoops hello you she says leave me alone I want to eat my food Oop, I might have made you dizzy just then anyway she's got a really good blaze on her so she's a really nice yo lamb so I think she's one of the ones I'm keeping to continue breeding from. Off the top of my head right this second, I can't think who her mother is. But she's she's a good, strong, you can see she's fighting her corner for food in that Malay. It's like a rugby scrum in there, I tell you. Anyway, those are the kind of things you look for, a few of the kind of things you look for in the confirmation of sheep that use that you want to or ram lambs this one always comes here to look at my sugar beet bucket there's nothing in it it's empty it's empty but those are a few of the things that you look for in the confirmation for a good standard of the breed to continue breeding from
Really? Really? No, don't. And she ticks a lot of the boxes. And look, we're gonna come back here. Everybody wants to look at the bucket. No, don't. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, and cut, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. They haven't finished eating yet. Well, I think they've just about finished eating now. But that gives you an idea of what I'm looking for in the three or four yo lambs that I'm gonna keep as replacements to keep regenerating my flock. Okay, come on. Little bit, come on, little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Judy, come on, Judy, come on, Judy, come on, little bit, come on, come on, come on, come on, Grace, come on, yeah, come on, no, 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 little bit, go on, come on, little bit. She's not bothered by the dogs barking at all. What? <laughs> you want to keep up? This is my pile of kindling that I've been collecting slowly beautiful dry stuff it's hazel and apple and some of it is ivy this is old ivy ivy is wonderful kindling so I've got to I meant to pick that up today but I forgot I was doing other things these are other dried bits that'll chop down to really good dry kindling for when I'm starting the wood stove and stuff there they all go all going to the water except for a little bit. You just chilling and hanging out here, huh? With me. You can see the wind, hear the wind rather. It's beginning to pick up the storm that's coming. So the horses are in, the alpaca are in, the hoggets and aunties are in. And the yos and lambs are here in the orchard and in the top of the garden paddock. And they have these shelters to get in under, like right there. So I'm sure they'll make use of those when the storm comes and the wind and the rain. See you tomorrow, ladies and babies. So here are the hoggets and the ewes that had abortions or miscarriages. The horses, as you can see, are in. And I've just spotted something. Hello, you. How are you? She says, no, I am not looking at you. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I uh, spotted that corner of the roof. You can see all the way along is fine, except for right there. So I'm gonna go get the ladder and hammer, you can see the nails sticking up. Let's see if I can get my finger there, right there. So I'm gonna get the ladder and hammer that in before the wind comes, or I might lose that bit of roof. What a pain in the arse. Well, there's the culprit. It's come out of the, uh, see that, if the wind got that, it would blow that off and then it would loosen this one all the way along. It's good to see the gutters are clean. So now I've got to realign that and the nail straight. So I'll realign it and hopefully hammer it in. And hopefully it won't pop out again in the storm. So that's what I'm going to do. Job done. I hammered it in and it's very secure. And I also hammered that one in and re-hammered that one in. They were both in, the other two. But um, it should be okay now. It's very much solidly in. I don't know why it had um, come up. 
It doesn't look like any rhyme or reason. Anyway, that job is done. Hey, yeah, how are you? You can't get to your water right now. I'm in the way of their water. You'll, you'll get there in a minute. I just have to climb down the ladder. And um, then you can get to your water. Ooh, wobbly, wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly. There we go. So let me take the ladder down and then you can get to your water. Okay, ladies. So now the roof is fixed. Yay!